Silent Music, A Story of Baghdad by James Rumford. For Dodie Warren and Tuesday's class and for all those who love the art of making beautiful letters. My name is Ali. I live in Baghdad. I love playing soccer in the dusty street with my friends. I love loud parent rattling music and I love dancing. But most of all, I love calligraphy, writing the letters of my language and making them go from right to left across the page. I love to make the ink flow from my pen stopping and starting, gliding and sweeping, leaping, dancing to the silent music in my head. Writing a long sentence is like watching a soccer player in slow motion as he kicks the ball across the field, as I leave a trail of dots and loops behind me. Some words are easier to write than others. Their letters loop together and make beautiful shapes all by themselves. Like the word Yasmin, my little sister's name. It just flows from my pen. Other words are difficult. Too many loops, too many tall masts that turn into tangled knots of ink. These words, like my grandfather's name, Mustafa, I practice over and over. I am always writing and doodling on the margins of newspapers and magazines, old envelopes and faded receipts, everywhere, even on the fogged up windows in wintertime or on the mirror in the bathroom. My dad laughs to see the messages I leave behind suddenly leap back to life as he steams up the mirror while shaving. My mother jokes and calls me Yakut after the most famous calligrapher in the world. He lived in Baghdad too, 800 years ago. He practiced writing every day. He invented new ways of making letters. He was a genius. I don't tell anyone, but he is my secret hero because he could create such beauty. There is a story they tell of Yakut. One fearful day in the year 1258, Mongols attacked Baghdad. As they burned the city and killed hundreds of thousands of people, Yakut fled to a high tower. There, Yakut created beauty. He shut out the horror and wrote glistening letters of rhythm and grace. One frightening night in the year 2003, as bombs and missiles fell on my city and death and destruction once again filled the streets, I, like Yakut, wrote. I wrote all night, and with many nights of bombing that followed, I filled my room with pages of calligraphy. I filled my mind with peace. Now the night bombing has stopped, and one war has become another. So I keep writing the easy words, the hard to write ones. It's funny how easily my pen glides down the long sweeping hooks of the word harb, war, and how stubbornly it resists me when I make the difficult waves and the slanted staff of salam, peace. How much I have to practice until this word flows freely from my pen. So I wanna share the author's note with you. He says calligraphy or the art of drawing letters is an important part of Islamic culture. Muslims use call calligraphy to make their holy book, the Quran, look as beautiful as possible. They also use it to decorate their mosques and other holy places. Part of what, what makes Arabic calligraphy so beautiful is the fact that many of the letters are joined together. In this way, the words seem to glide across the page in a magical rhythm. The dots 
in the tall masts also add to this ryth rhythm so that a page of Arabic writing looks like a page of music. The calligrapher mentioned in the story was Yakut. He was born in 1221 in either Ethiopia or modern day Turkey and died in Baghdad in 1298. Other than these few facts and the story that he fled to a high tower to write during the destruction of Baghdad, little is known about the life of the man who was one of the greatest calligraphers of the Arabic language. People have so treasured his writing that a few samples of his calligraphy still survive and his signature appears below. See if you can find his signature on the page. <laughs> 